At last, you're finally here. You made me wait longer than I would have liked to. Do you really need to prove your incompetence every day? Ah, never mind. I... I wanted to rest a bit. And you seem perfect for providing what I need. Sit here beside me. Not here. On that stool. Hmm. You know, when I want some peace and quiet, I always choose this balcony. I used to come here and look down on the peasants who worked in the farms close to the castle. They looked so tiny, so insignificant, like ants. And when I finally achieved the immortality, they turned out to be just like that. Ants. Insects who work all their lives for some undefined purpose, a lie they tell themselves to prevent being thrown into despair because of the fact that they are throwing away their brief leaves to serve some lord they'll never even get to meet. I saw them, and I rejoiced in my mortality. Then, one day, they all ran away. They revolted against their serfdom while I was asleep, and my guards alone weren't able to stop them. And so, another one of my entertainment sources was taken away from me. Since then, I just come here to enjoy the view of the forest slowly, slowly taking over the old abandoned fields. Man is nothing but a beast layer on this earth. Once it clears out, nature reclaims everything it had occupied. And soon, it's all as nobody ever was there. Look over there. There was a village. Now the woods have grown all over the place, swallowing its wall. Over there, those were fields. That place is where you were captured some time ago. Speaking of which, it seems you've grown acquainted with this place and its people. Yes, it can be a good thing. At least, you won't get lost as easily. But not everything you've done pleases me. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, Ariel, your 11th supervisor. How friendly have you been getting with her? Don't get me wrong. The fact that you've managed to make a creature as haughty as an elf open up to you is amazing. And in fact, I found that uh, entertaining at first. But I think you've done much more than you should. I do not want you to lay a hand on her again. She is astonishingly beautiful as an elf, but do not get intimate with her, or I will punish you. No, I'm not jealous. You insolent little servant. How dare you think I want you all for myself? I simply don't want you to produce an offspring with her. The population of this castle must not increase unless I want it to, and you will not threaten the stability I want this place to have. Am I clear, human? Good.
Now, time for your punishment. You were irritating, and I can't tolerate such an effrontery to my authority. Neil. Like that. Good. But that's it. It's all the pleasure you're ever going to get from me. I will not do anything else with a lovely human such as you. Nor with anyone else. You're all so much beneath me that I can simply waste my time. Much less myself on you. And you, you'd better accept that. No, <laughs> don't give me that face. I don't want you to get any closer to Ariel. That's true. And I'm not offering you an alternative. But that's just the way things are for you. I am your mistress. You are my servant. And this can change even if you prove to be the most loyal and useful slave I could ever desire. If anything, it would confirm me that I chose well. Now, come with me. As beautiful as this scene is, I can stay here much longer. The sun is coming out soon and I need to get some rest. Today, I want you to tend to my coffin, just to see if you can do this as well. As far as Ariel says, you've been quite good with general cleaning duties, but I can really trust her word after getting to know the fact that she might even be infatuated with you. I will need to check if her word can still be trust after all, and you are the only one who can prove it. Bear in mind, if you don't close it properly, I might get injured. But if that happens, I won't let you get away with it. My trust minions will find you and make you pay wherever you are. So, don't even think you can use this task as an opportunity to get rid of me. It wouldn't work, I would be still walking, and your head would be far enough from your chest for you to be unable to see it. Here we are. Open it carefully. That coffin cost more than your whole body. So, you don't want to do even as much as a bruise to it, right? Go on. Perfect. Now, help me clean up. Not that I need you to help me, but I see no reason not to use my servant's help when it's available. It's... Uh, it's fun. Good. Good. Hmm. Now, I know you like seeing me lie down. After all, you've always been in a lower position, and for a good reason. Lean it. Come closer. <sighs> Why do you think? I want to kiss you, obviously, my fair prince. Honestly, you're pathetic when you joke like that. Come closer, 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 closer. Mm. 
So good. <laughs> now, close the coffin. You've done a good job today. Be glad I'm praising you. It seems Ariel was online after all. Get to work immediately when you're done. The next time we meet, I may have a more complicated task for you.